Hello, hello, my name is Simon and I will talk you through all settings from options in Eurotrack Simulator. This tutorial is valid for both games, for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. It will work in both cases, so uh, it, it's practically the same. It might differ in minimal way, but it will be good in both cases. So, without further ado, uh, let's go with all of those settings. I will not more uh, talk about uh, game menu. I will talk only about options, which is available in the settings here. And for the beginning, there is graphic tab, graphics tab. Uh, in basic mode, you have biggest thing visible here. It's uh, graphics settings. Uh, you can choose whatever suits you best. I'm choosing high because uh, this computer is not powerful enough to uh, record uh, videos and uh, use in high set and drive in high settings. But let's pretend I have this option enabled. Okay, from top full screen mode. You want to play in window or you want to play in full screen mode? Easy. Brightness, it's how bright your screen will be. Screen resolution, easy. Another stuff, just choose appropriate for your monitor. Refresh rate, uh, it may be uh, important for your LCD monitors um, when you need to uh, have same uh, hertz refresh rate as your monitor to not lose any frames. Uh, V-Sync, vertical syn uh, synchronization is special option to prevent flickering of graphics uh, when uh, there is a problem with refreshing uh, when graphic card is faster than monitor. You can switch all this graph, which is easy form of play, into advanced settings and then you have full control about what is displayed and how is displayed. If you change anything from this menu, it will automatically change to custom settings. So you can have uh, simple, advanced, and if you change anything, it will change to custom. Uh, scaling, it's uh, how uh, detailed textures are available in game. Uh, it uh, is one of the most important options in game. If you have uh, clear, uh, if you want clear dashboard and road signs, you need this as big as possible. But uh, uh, keeping it lower than 200% is not good. Anyway, uh, anti-aliasing uh, practically does not work in this game, especially on Nvidia cards. So it might be even disabled it will give you a few frames per second. Screen space ambient occlusion, another fancy option, keeping a height. Depth of field is how far uh, you can see and how textures will uh, decrease in uh, resolution in uh, uh, getting further away. Sun shafts or sun rays it's uh, best visible on evenings when sun is slow and uh, you have some fancy sun effects in the cabin. Uh, I might not be able to show you, case you this in any way in this fast tutorial. Color correction, leave on. It tries to fix your colors. Reflection scaling, uh, keep as high as possible. It's, uh, for example, if you have chrome wheels or chrome fuel tanks uh, and some reflections in water, uh, better settings give you more realistic reflections on those surfaces. Vegetation detail is how fancy trees are displayed. 
if it's simple texture or more advanced grass destiny uh, grass density is how much grass is displayed and other flowers you can turn it off and have only flat surface but uh, all seam lines will be visible and with grass on high it will uh, give you more realistic view of uh, planes and fields shadow quality it's more or less if it will be very easy shadow or dynamically generated one higher the better as always shadow texture size uh, same as above more details in shadows weather quality uh, you can have some weather like rain it's uh, how uh, road will behave how fancy water drops will be in the air and uh, what form of haze is generated by moving traffic mirror quality those are important settings for your FPS one of this uh, mirror quality is uh, how those uh, mirrors reflect and how camera is generated for mirrors uh, but each mirror is additional camera so uh, it is like having image in image it's not actual reflection so uh, if you have uh, problems with uh, FPS reduce mirror quality mirror resolution and mirror distance mirror quality is not exactly needed uh, to recognize traffic in mirrors also mirror resolution is not exactly needed to recognize traffic in mirrors but having those settings on the high or uh, it's definitely make your game more immersive mirror distance is how far object will be drawn in the mirrors in medium you will definitely see uh, mirrors uh, uh, objects in mirrors that pop up uh, from nothing you can clearly see where that distance is uh, finished texture quality it's similar to texture scaling higher the better anisotropic filtering it's uh, connected to uh, those uh, elements of texture that are in lower resolution as far uh, further away from camera so y you can keep this on the fancy and leave that by if you have your ultra settings normal maps uh, it's a way of telling the game that flat texture is not flat so with normal maps uh, you can have some additional details visible on wheels for example which are not part of uh, wheel model but will be generated as uh, dynamic so like uh, sticking out text on wheels it's made by normal map traffic headlights it's better to have on especially at night when all traffic uh, in your uh, view will have lights turned on it's more like uh, they have uh, light points attached to models than uh, actually uh, lighting up your road so it's m better visibility but not much better secondary vehicle lights uh, it's like our blinkers like those two, uh, additional mar markers on side and all other stuff that is not directly connected to uh, lightening up your road light visibility also from what distance it is visible and uh, all lights like uh, lamp post will uh, shine on the road if it's high it will be earlier visible pedestrians if you want to have uh, more realistic uh, immersion settings then you want pedestrians in city you will not spot them outside the city in exception of some police officers uh, writing tickets for uh, stopped traffic uh, i will leave this graphics settings on ultra yes audio 
few settings that are important master volume it's everything you can mute this track engine track uh, it's what I need to tell not track engine X housed sometimes it's uh, better to have one or no turbo it's uh, on some tracks uh, that additional charger that is uh, whistling uh, while you drive and uh, if you see those settings I have engine on a higher and turbo on lower settings than uh, standard one track effects are, are uh, every buttons and other sounds of or not track effects because this is interior it like it can be like our springs or other effects track noise same stuff trailer noise traffic uh, passing by world sounds like uh, birds and other stuff flowing water ambient it's uh, sometimes in cicades on the night and all uh, chatting of pedestrians and other sounds that are in cities interiors sounds are everything like uh, switching buttons uh, uh, opening closing windows other stuff radio you can listen to radio in this game uh, if you set up your uh, radio stations it's more like boy radio so it can be also adjusted to not uh, uh, block your other sounds voice navigation GPS can talk and this is uh, how loud it is music volume it's turned off for me because it's getting uh, irritating about two hours uh, in game time before delivery the music it begins and it's uh, supposed to get your info that uh, your time is finishing but this distracts and um, you can make errors with this game sounds are buttons in many and other stone stuff UI music it's this when you are in many it can it can have music it's other music that uh, of those music um, above intro logos uh, when game starts there are few logos and they have some own music voice navigation have own section you can enable it select uh, language and voice for example you can get your english uh, UK accent uh, male voice. Let's do this. It's all over now. Rerouting. Make a U turn. Or US accent. Please mind the speed limit. Stay left. Stay right. Some names uh, of roundabout could be different. Uh, Doug is. Turn left. Turn right. Or Sky. Exit left. Exit right. Some fancy one. You can have like Alla rotatoria, prendere la prima uscita. Other languages. Na kruhovom objazde použite druhý výjazd. Or totally weird ones. Zai huanxing jiao cha lu shi yong di san ge chu kou. If you want something that talks but you don't have idea. Rotori eso ne bon jie chu guro nagaseo. You can choose anything. Döner karşakta beşinci çıkışı kullanın. Uh, probably you will stay with English. You can also get uh, additional voices from uh, Steam Shop. Uh, actually they are for free. Some modifications. I have mod installed for my uh, with Polish uh, lector uh, Tomasz Knapik uh, and it's I don't have it turned on right now so I will not uh, give this let's stay with dog speed warning non sound or voice uh, if you are driving above speed limit uh, it will uh, sound uh, nothing or uh, you will get some notification like ding 
ding that you are above uh, your speed limit or voice uh, which uh, will tell you with this uh, voice language and uh, voice selection that uh, hello you are going a little too fast so you may consider slowing down so I tend to have none of this because this is distracting me in many cases and depends on how I like to drive it's uh, either way I'll time beeping or uh, not uh, used at all because I drive correctly other audio settings is back a beeper it's that uh, sound that track makes when you have reverse gear selected so like beep 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 Rumble stripes, if you are close to uh, end of road on side and middle, if you are dr driving on this uh, lane, it will uh, sound that you are driving on this. In many countries, this is natural sound of uh, road. Opened windows noise, uh, when you have opened windows, uh, then uh, wind s uh, sound changes. Nice of flowing air is always selected, it's uh, increased uh, with speed. Reverb effect on the cabin and on a an environment. Hard words. English is not my main ling language. Uh, in the cabin it's like a little echo. And on the environment it's mostly uh, audible in uh, tunnels. And audio driver, you can select additional uh, audio driver if you are interested in this. Main settings that you will be interested in are in the gameplay tab. There is ton of options here. Uh, first of all, you have few garages options to select where your truck will be loaded into uh, you can see this on the background you can also select that this will be random and uh, that means that each time you uh, enter menu you can have other uh, setting of this that will be not boring uh, you can buy uh, from steam market uh, some additional uh, garages for this they were mostly some awards in events and right now are available from other players if you want more I know at least two or three other ones uh, sorry uh, desktop fade out delay you just saw this for the uh, if I will not uh, move on the mouse that will be uh, closing okay those settings, game settings, are most important for your gameplay at all. Fatigue simulation is uh, option that you will get tired during uh, your adventures. Uh, standard time is more or less about 10 to 12 hours of driving when you will be tired and you will need to go to parking space, turn off your engine and sleep uh, another nine hours so with this enabled uh, after that few hours of driving you will start to getting tired it's uh, indicated with a little bed icon on the uh, road advisor and if it uh, if it's filled it's blue and uh, last hour before stop it's red and uh, you should definitely find your rest place there uh, when it's close to your limit uh, you will start to hear uh, yawning sounds of your driver like oh. that's this first indicator that you are getting tired and you need to drive off if you ignore this uh, you will start to fall asleep uh, on the wheel. Uh, firstly it will uh, blur out uh, uh, your mm, screen corners and it will g get black for a while. Uh, then it will block 
totally your view and you are not controlling your track during this blackout moment so you may go into something and uh, from my observation if you fell asleep uh, for a while on the steering wheel it's not that uh, track stays uh, straight it's uh, uh, quasi random uh, input generated for your driving wheel so you may end up uh, in ditch uh, independent of uh, you either way okay traffic offense it's option that you will get fined for traffic violations so if you're going above speed limit or you bump into other cars and other cars will bump into you because that also happens that you are completely still and someone uh, will decide to drive through you and you still get fined for this and driving without lights in the night uh, speeding Mm, going on the red light driving when you are tired uh, what else I can think uh, fine for crossing border without stopping there is few places that you can cross border and uh, get away for from this in the American Truck Simulator you have also traffic violation in terms of uh, not stopping on wait station. In Europe uh, we have no uh, wait stations uh, with exception of Romania where we have uh, I think three wait stations near the border only. Uh, preferred job length uh, it's uh, when you're choosing a quick job or any other job uh, it will prefer to give you on the left side of slider shorter uh, roads and uh, longer roads on the far side uh, on the big, uh, start of the game it does not matter as much because as uh, beginning driver you have like 150 kilometers or 200 kilometers max road distance available in general but uh, when you have uh, uh, advanced driver with all skills uh, already learned then uh, there is no upper limit for road distance so getting jobs if especially if you are in Portugal or uh, in Norway or in uh, Turkey you can have roads that have over 3000 kilometers and if you obey all speed limits uh, it reason it's reasonable to say that you can uh, go like 800 up to to 1000 kilometers uh, per real game hour what I'm talking about you, uh, in real time you can go like uh, 800 on 1000 kilometers in game so uh, keep that in mind that uh, 3000 kilometers road is uh, most likely over three hours long uh, in real time to drive road advisor speed limit in most countries speed limit for trucks is different than for cars and most road signs will point you cars speed limit so uh, if you sh uh, select here car limit then uh, you will have mostly like 120 kilometers per hour limit displayed but uh, you can't go faster than 80 or 90 depends on the country so it's better to say uh, s uh, to leave this on show track limit and then uh, road advisor will uh, point you that uh, limit for trucks is such a number road advisor speed warning it will uh, spe speed on uh, road advisor will go red uh, 
when you are over speeding automatic pa parking dialog uh, if you watched uh, uh, driving tutorial the previous video from this uh, then when you arrive at company there is a point where you stop on entrance and you select uh, which way you want to park hard way easy way or no parking at all uh, if you switch this off this option will not be uh, uh, popping up it, you will have always selected this is connected to uh, option of parking difficulty which is to uh, little lower here and I'll get back to this in the moment uh, keep road advisor hidden it will always hide your road advisor uh, heavy cargo warning screen uh, it is information that is popping up when you select uh, heavy cargo uh, and it's uh, somewhat of uh, your track has this, this stats and uh, do you sure that uh, you will be able to pull this job because some cargoes are quite heavy and this track which is in background it's not powerful so for example this track exactly this track this is DAF tra newest DAF it's uh, quite nice with up to 20 tons cargo but uh, it's struggle with uh, some heavier cargo and you can have uh, some 40 tons cargo here uh, available that's not including uh, uh, special cargo uh, DLC in which you can have uh, up to 69 or 70 tons cargo and this truck m will have problems with uh, running this heaviest, heaviest stuff you need dedicated truck with uh, heavy engine and uh, gearbox uh, for heavy cargo to move that freely map alignment it's our either flat north uh, locked or always north it's different display styles uh, show navigation always on job map only on world and job map it's uh, highlight of your road you can uh, have sel uh, selection of your road on job map only so this uh, road advisor uh, or where you when you select your job and world map uh, it's uh, information that uh, on, on map screen you can have also navigations highlighted mode shortest small roads best it depends on what you like you can have smaller roads it's not many smaller roads here but uh, best is in most cases actually best road you can take uh, I think it counts also for narrow places so if you have a uh, wide load or longer trailer or heavier trailer it will try to avoid uh, mountain roads for example parking difficulty if you s uh, disabled automatic parking dialog you can uh, choose uh, what kind of park uh, do you like uh, to have always select it will pop up uh, with uh, parking dialog safe parking it's mm, this place which is quite close to an company entrance and you don't need to move quite uh, extremely to park this uh, truck and trailer skilled parking in most cases you need to back up your trailer into place uh, and this is uh, this harder one and gives you most experience points I tend to have a random parking and that uh, varies from job to job uh, it's always uh, randomized when you arrive to company you will get information uh, where you want uh, where you need to park if it's safe or skilled you just need to search for parking spot on this company and uh, leave trailer there so more realistic in the way 
random road events it's like uh, you drive and you can see that there is uh, traffic stopped by police and uh, policeman is uh, giving uh, some ticket for traffic violation or other stuff like this detours are major road event and uh, this is such major that uh, police and uh, fire department blocks whole road and you technically should uh, detour and find another way it's mostly like three lanes on uh, highway are block blocked because there is few cars involved uh, accident and there is a helicopter landed and and or fire brigade uh, fighting with uh, burning car and other stuff like this but uh, th this uh, sometimes gives you detours that uh, will uh, give you additional few hundred kilometers to road because if you can't drive off your uh, exit on highway you need to go to another uh, highway and drive around the whole city probably or another stuff Rain probability it's how often it will rain it's not only graphic uh, it's not only pure visibility it's also that uh, you will have uh, lower braking performance and uh, it's more skidding and it's easier for uh, accidents and losing control over track so uh, it's not only graphical of rain it's nice to have actually in uh, American Truck Simulator it, for those uh, maps that I have I had rain once in 60 hours of gameplay so with these settings that was California and Arizona so uh, there is uh, I would uh, say desert condition that rains <laughs> are not so common time zones you can enable uh, time zones and this make mess with your head because we have like four time zones in uh, Europe and even more in US for American truck simulator uh, in short it is that uh, I'll destination arrival time information is displayed in uh, destination local time so you need to uh, calculate how much time you actually have for arriving in your destination because it's not displayed in relative time to you but uh, in local uh, time zone show cut scenes it uh, is uh, when you buy new truck or when you visit some uh, sp uh, view viewpoint in Spain or when you have new garage bought then uh, uh, cutscene will be visible also if you have special cargo that cutscene will be showing you what cargo you are driving with inverting mouse it's uh, like if you move mouse down cursor will go up especially when uh, watching inside your uh, cab so that will make little difference in game track settings transmission type it's same stuff that you chosen on uh, starting of game but you can always change this uh, in game as those are different types and I uh, suggest you to watch tutorial where is described what is each of those uh, transmission type steering auto center uh, if you are using keyboard it's uh, something that helps you get back into neutral uh, steering wheel position after making turn it will slowly return to zero if your truck is moving but if your truck is stopped then uh, it will stay 
uh, turned in this way. Braking intensity should be uh, started with middle and then you can choose more or less in right is more in left is uh, less brake intense it depends on truck you are driving cargo you are driving and mostly uh, if you have steering wheel or not it uh, translates more or less uh, to how fast your truck will stop but if you have a uh, truck without trailer uh, harder braking uh, it's more likely to tip you over or that you lose control over your truck truck stability and trailer stability those are two fancy options that will give you arcade play style if it's on the right or more realistic if it's on the left it's nice to have those more or less somewhere here that means that truck will behave more uh, realistic on turns and it will be much easier to uh, roll it over and uh, broke so you need to take care on your turns then you have suspension stiffness and cabin suspension stiffness suspension is uh, between uh, truck uh, chassis and wheels and cabin is between chassis and uh, actual cabin so this line here to take just below the doors and uh, above uh, fender uh, those two options is uh, nice to have on full I will uh, show you in game in the moment uh, how those two options differ advanced trailer coupling uh, it is uh, when you back your truck into a trailer uh, you uh, have to be very precise if you have advanced trailer coupling enabled you need to point exactly uh, where you want to park I will show you this also in a moment after I finish uh, talking about rest of options Th those trailer cables uh, those fancy airlines and uh, power cords between truck and trailer and sometimes between trailer and uh, another trailer uh, where you want to be shown known only to first layer trailer to all trailers uh, all trailers on the player and first trailer in traffic and all tra trailers everywhere in the game it's just graphical track speed limiter it's one option that many people asks why I can't go faster track speed limiter is uh, forcing you to not drive faster than uh, 90 kilometers per hour you can have empty track with super powerful engine but you will not go faster than 90 miles uh, kilometers per hour because of this option if you want to go faster and ignore all uh, speed limits turn this off automatic retarder and engine brake I tend to drive with this on uh, in reality retarder helps uh, you reduce speed on uh, long descents when you drive off the hill uh, for the extended time it's used to brake the truck without using brakes because it's uh, built inside uh, truck and it reduces speed gra by greatly in increasing uh, rolling uh, uh, force needed to move truck engine brake it's kind of brake that uses engine power to uh, reduce speed so if you select retarder and engine brake with automat uh, on automatic then you will brake faster if needed uh, especially while uh, using on the keyboard automatic engine and electricity start is uh, that if you press accelerate then uh, engine and electricity will start if it is not selected you always need to start your engine manually automatic parking brake and gauge if you stop 
uh, parking brake with an gauge. I don't want automatic parking brake. I'm tending to using it uh, manually. Automatic drop of lift table access. Uh, if you have truck uh, with uh, access axles that are lift table uh, or trailer that has uh, lift table axles, if you have automatic drop, uh, it will drop to ground every time you need to have it dropped. So if you attach your trailer, then it will drop. If not, you have uh, to set up your keys for dropping lift table axles on truck and on trailer. Those are two separate buttons. I want usually this turned off. Air brake simulation. It can be uh, not pleasant. Uh, it enables you to have more realistic truck behavior uh, with using air to brake so sometimes you need to wait and uh, build air pressure inside your truck to be able to move because uh, air brakes are blocked when you have no air in the system so you just uh, switch your gear to neutral and accelerate max for a few seconds at least like 10, 20 seconds maybe to build up uh, air pressure in your truck and then you can uh, release your brakes and go. Also each using usual brakes will use uh, that air so uh, if you are driving in city and there is much traffic lights and other uh, stopping needed uh, it will uh, use your air faster than you can uh, recharge it back so it might be that uh, in some moment you will have uh, alert on dashboard and even it's possible that you will uh, block your brakes because of lack of fire in system in city but uh, for use in usual road it's uh, it does not matter it's realistic fuel consumption it's uh, option that uh, will uh, somewhat limit your uh, fuel tanks so it will use more fuel in short your truck will use more fuel, you will need to stop on gas station more often to get back your fuel. I want this usually to be turned on, especially in later game uh, when you have absolutely no problems with any cash. For example, in my main uh, game without any mods, I'm making like two million dollars per in-game day so I can buy roughly four or five best trucks uh, daily top top tier best engine fully equipped interior everything and those trucks tend to cost close to 500,000 so I can easily buy four or five per day also if you destroy your truck completely up to 100% then uh, cost of repair is uh, more or less the same that cost of buying new truck. Cruise control, grid step. Uh, your truck has cruise control so you don't need to push accelerator uh, as often and you can choose how precise this uh, cruise control is. When, uh, when you are uh, selecting your target speed and how precise uh, it uh, behaves uh, when it reaches uh, target speed plus minus uh, 10 kilometers per hour plus minus uh, 5 or exactly to 0 automatic blinker turn off uh, it's when you have blinker uh, turn on and you finish your turn and the uh, steering wheel goes back to center to neutral it will turn off your blinker some some kind of natural behavior cabin accessories physics is uh, when you have some hanging toys uh, from your uh, dashboard then it will uh, be uh, under forces like you are turning it will swivel to one or other side camera settings is uh, actually 
first option is uh, more for gamepad users steering camera rotation uh, options are free is uh, more or less that camera will rotate in direction that your uh, steering wheel is turned and blinker com camera rotation will uh, move your camera to show you side mirror of direction that blinker is turned on physical camera movement is uh, simulating uh, head movements uh, and seat of driver movements so it will uh, bob some on turns and it will be feeling more realistic language is whole uh, game language all options and settings region presets uh, you can choose some dialects of that English localize its city and country names uh, it switches uh, city and country names for the translated form if you have not selected this then this uh, will uh, stay and second option secondary names uh, is connected to this if you have localized uh, city name then secondary name will be not translated uh, and uh, if you have not localized city name then uh, secondary names uh, probably will be either translated ones or in case of Russian and uh, Cyrillic use, using countries uh, that uh, secondary name will be in Latin uh, alphabet display currency you can choose in which cache you want to run this game euro is standard in uh, euro truck simulator and uh, dollars are standard in uh, us uh, truck simulator uh, 24 clock notation or 12 uh, clock uh, 12 hour clock notation and basic si uh, or measuring units uh, land weight kilometers or miles kilograms or pounds uh, celsius or fahrenheit uh, liters or gallons and consumption units uh, you can choose what you want it's uh, th those options in euro truck simulator are mostly because uh, we have imperial metric system uh, uh, imperial measuring system in uk so you can switch uh, that to uk settings uh, more or less uh, okay keys and buttons it's very easy primary and secondary string uh, options for each and every s game setting that you have available uh, here most important ones that i tend to change uh, it's shift up stays shift to neutral it's always neutral it can with sequential can be uh, useful shift up and down hint uh, it's helpful if you're not used to your track gearbox switch automatic and sequential can be uh, when you have automatic gearbox you can switch uh, f and from one to other automatic gearbox start stop engine and electricity you can uh, turn on dashboard but not engine but doesn't matter uh, in the game actually parking brake engine brake you can uh, have a selection of power of engine brake also trailer brake is also available if you want to set up this retarder increase and decrease it's good to know where it is if you want to use it manually I tend to set up uh, lift drop axle on track and on trailer differential lock sometimes is needed to move track from hard position and uphill and uh, s s some kind of different situation it's helpful uh, I switch uh, indicators from uh, square brackets to Q and E because it's close to uh, steering options hazard lighting is standard light mode standard high beam standard beacon standard horn it's horn and air horn is better light horn 
a special key that uh, lights up high beams and using horn in the same time wipers um, have three options and stopped that is four option and you can have one key additional selected to uh, turn wipers off from whatever position they are cruise control is uh, in default C I switch to sp uh, speed on the equal and uh, minus signs so I can control and manually select it and also I have this on wheel on my mouse so I can start cruise control and adjust it uh, on the fly and uh, resume uh, cruise control is also added by me uh, uh, to mouse button it is that uh, when you're driving over 20 or 30 kilometers per hour you can start cruise control and it will uh, have that speed selected that uh, uh, you had your truck running in moment of turning this on then you have plus uh, this uh, equal and uh, minus to adjust the speed so you can turn on cruise control on like 40 kilometers per hour and adjust it to 70 for example and then if you use brake it will turn off cruise control and uh, resume cruise control is uh, uh, turning on cruise control with speed previously selected so uh, resume would uh, start this cruise control on 70 selected f earlier but if you press C again uh, to restart cruise control it will start from uh, the beginning so speed that truck is running uh, in moment of starting cruise control I hope this is clear dashboard display mode is uh, that switching dashboard modes that I show mm, I show you in moment also uh, you can also change like you have on F5 key you can uh, switch your uh, road advisor map styles same stuff is for GPS on uh, track and this needs additional key and some tracks uh, have additional uh, settings for resetting trip info because they have like two odometers and uh, one is uh, total for this track and second is for this trip and you can select additional button to reset uh, trip only I switch uh, those four buttons to have uh, windows uh, opening and closing and this is for me rest is default uh, side mirrors, road advisor, all shortcuts uh, assistant actions it's shortcut for keys uh, when you select service options camera controls are uh, set up uh, as is shown in tutorial uh, zoom interior I have additionally selected for right mouse button uh, also you can uh, look from keyboard so you don't have to use mouse mm. In garage you can uh, move your uh, camera by using keys uh, and you can uh, drop that camera as to be holded by person and then you have some kind of first person view uh, similar to this that is bug in background right now and other shortcuts the touch trailer quick save load uh, open map, open garage, make screenshot, uh, etc. Controls is uh, for additional uh, steering devices like you have a keyboard, mouse, joystick, gamepads, multiple ones can be connected like steering wheel and gearbox in additional and you have uh, options to tweak this adaptive automatic transition uh, uh, will try to match your preferred uh, style of driving like economy normal or high power high power will use uh, more torque economy will try to stay as much as possible in lower fuel consumption steering sensitivity and non-linearity is non-linearity is connected directly to steering wheels so it's not uh, in 
terms of keyboard steering and steering sensitivity I have selected to higher option because of one of mods that I usually use and it uh, needs to be more in the middle and this in standard it's more on the left so it's more precise control uh, in short as uh, this slider is moved to left then pressing key uh, on steering uh, device will make turn your wheels in that direction very 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 slowly and if you have uh, this slider on the right uh, pushing that key will make almost instantly maximum uh, steering in uh, such direction so you need to fit that to your settings unfortunately best settings for fast driving and on the left side of this but when you are backing up your truck uh, into dock uh, and parking and whatever you need to precise steer with slow it's best to have this on the right side to fast ad adjust your steering so uh, with that one mod that I have installed uh, it uh, makes that changes on the fly uh, in correlation to track speed so it increases uh, steering sensitivity when track is going slow when you have better control on your track and decreases when track is going faster it's a very nice uh, addition to have and uh, it uh, requires you to have this steering sensitivity more on uh, middle if you have steering wheel or joystick with force feedback you can adjust your settings here and then uh, choose your access to uh, precisely select also if you have H shifter uh, available as gear shifter you can adjust all positions of this H shifter to specific uh, gears and uh, SPDK uh, SKRS it's called SKRS I think and this is additional tool for uh, gearbox which give you two toggle switches uh, one is uh, for switching uh, half gears and second is for switching low and high uh, gear settings and you if you have six position uh, gear lever with uh, those uh, two uh, switches uh, uh, available then uh, you can simulate full 18 gear manual uh, shift box uh, ge gear shift so it's very nice to have and uh, eye tracking or head tracking it's also here so you can adjust this and last uh, tab is online it's uh, only valid if you select in main menu option to uh, login into game you need to go to profile and enter your credentials for uh, world of tracks and then you have these options available in the game which is online news and uh, image spotlight it's uh, more like uh, if you downloading uh, yeah. if you loading uh, game then it will show you more random images uh, on load okay let's drive I have one job in progress so I can show you those uh, three settings uh, actually five settings that I talk uh, nice. earlier uh, let's get back uh, can I go here get back to that I want to get to gas station I want to get oh, this is blocked okay uh, I need to get back to that gas station so oh this is traffic violation because someone hit me it's not my fault but someone hit me so I've got fined for this let's get uh, 
I've set my... I don't care about those scratches. I set my settings to high, so it's right now affecting my F my game performance. Yes, wrong way. Yes, please. Finding new route. Okay. So first thing I will do is change option of graphic settings to something that will be better suited for us and now i have here gameplay settings with uh, where it is blah 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 after fatigue traffic of them them the automatic parking where it is Real automating advanced trailer coupling. I want this off for a second and let's drive. And now I detach the trailer. And now I will move in some weird position. like this now it's too far still okay okay this is close enough to see uh, not this button if you can see there is saddle here and it's definitely not aligned with trailer kingpin, so uh, it should not be possible to attach in normal way. But when you have advanced coupling turned off, trailer jumps onto my truck and it's everything okay. I can detach and go away. Uh, I might not be able to show you king oh, there is there is this black pin it's called king pin sticking out from trailer and on the saddle there is uh, this triangle and a king pin should land here if you have advanced trailer coupling enabled you should uh, most accurately uh, drive your truck that kingpin is very very close to middle of saddle before you will be able to join your truck with trailer so let's re-enable this advanced trailer coupling and get back to drive and now if I choose to park in similar way that I have earlier it's not possible to attach this trailer. Like I've said, I need to back up very precisely into that trailer, line it up correctly, and only then it will grab and it will be possible to attach. Trailer will not jump in any way. This is also hint sometimes when you stop you can uh, have what some kind of for? accident and you will end up with trailer partially locked with an uh, obstacles like uh, border of road and sometimes only option to uh, get this trailer attached correctly is use, uh, is turning off advanced trailer coupling and hoping that it will jump from that obstacle into your uh, truck. Okay. Parking brake. I have now that additional settings selected here. Gameplay settings. It is that sliders of suspension stiffness and cabin suspension stiffness. If you can see, this truck 
moves. It's dynamically moving and I can break it Turn right. and it's moving from cabin view it's also visible and it's smooth and it's sometimes very hard to get especially when you're going fast on the road it's uh, that feeling that you will turn over in the moment and you tend to slow down to avoid this uh, bad feeling and now i'll switch back to uh, normal settings that is on the far right which is totally opposite of that we had just before and i will try to drive uh, very close to that uh, i had that road that i've taken before so i can brake and it almost does not move and as you can see it's almost not moving also when i get here it's definitely less moving let's get inside hard turning does not make any problems with this cabin this is somewhat similar but this is mostly visible on these hard turns when i am perfectly flat in this it does not bounce this net does not uh, side uh, does not fall to side right. also when i break hard starting now it's almost uh, no uh, almost nothing happening on this so uh, if you want realistic drive you definitely should have these settings on the far left also I will now leave this game to change profile option not to quit game to ch change profile option yes and I will show you one more settings when I'm on these options I can edit profile and change this option account name and email it is login to world of tracks login and password and I can use online avatar so this profile icon will be switched to that uploaded to world of tracks also license plates chosen will be attached to track so those are fancy options I don't want this right now and I want mod manager I have multiple uh, modifications downloaded for this game some are uh, very advanced like promotes and I will talk about this in another tutorial some are very simple like uh, this one which only uh, switches engine sounds for a car let's get this one on the right side I can also get it uh, with double click if I want and they will land on the list on the right I can move them on the list top and bottom it's sometimes important in which order they are displayed here because they are loaded uh, first this top then next and then next then next and if this next have same files of this previous one then it will overwrite this previous one because uh, you don't uh, have those options uh, I want this also installed uh, this one first is new sounds for DAF uh, from this year this one improves uh, suspension 
it is even more realistic and uh, also it uh, enables that uh, improvements of steering true mirror uh, FOV it's uh, that changes uh, field of view in mirrors and mirrors are more uh, advanced promotes is whole map uh, modification so it will be in the other video described in other video cold rain is better graphics for rain some trailer tuning options and track options knapik uh, i'll add knapik and show you how it sounds uh, no dead ends and uh, is night modification if you know game because it removes all those exits uh, that are showed on roads that you cannot drive on but it also removes invisible walls that are there so you don't know if that uh, road is uh, finished uh, and uh, or not it's more realistic view but you can fall off on map so you need to be more careful uh, icons modification switches dot fancy green neon stuff in companies to paint jobs on pavement so you have also more immersion uh, multiple sound modifications better sound for engines another lights attachments and additional tracks and uh, real gas stations with prices company add-on is uh, very fine it uh, adds multiple uh, stops in company that you can uh, stop and rest so you have many more places than you can stop and rest uh, but it also adds uh, multiple other drivers that rest in that company so uh, like you can see on this screenshot you have few trucks parked here and there in company uh, and that means that uh, it's not only more realistic because there it looks like it's more traffic but it's also uh, way way harder to navigate your truck with trailer in that company because of those trucks that are parked here there and this is everything i want to be installed here okay and i want to restart this game with those mods uh, one uh, hint if you use map mod that changes game map not that uh, one that is displayed on GPS but that, that actually make new roads you can't uh, turn that modification off you, you are, uh, you, your profile is uh, needed to be played on that map modification so if you use promotes then this profile will have to use promotes uh, all the time now uh, audio settings that Tomasz Knapik is now available here in Polish. It's third option. Zjedź. Wiedź na rondo. W trzeci zjazd. Zmieniam trasę. It's a very nice voice and uh, we from Poland are used to this uh, voice because it is used in uh, many, many movies uh, by this actor. So this one stays here all other settings stays there and now let's get back to game I have enabled this suspension I have enabled Knapik and I have enabled sounds for this truck time to get the job done new klaxon I don't have air horn here and field of view as uh, I will attach to that trailer ah, parking brake yes Turn right. it's a uh, new engine sounds for this truck it's way better than default sounds and as you see already this truck behaves way different than 
it uh, behaved moment ago on this settings with uh, maximum left settings so it's way more d dynamic and it's way more realistic and it feels way better it's definitely one of those modifications that is worth to have and to play with and now I will attach this trailer uh, to be able to set up my mirrors in correct way because changed failed field of view make default setting of mirrors not applicable anymore also that means with this modification that each quick job you are doing will in most cases need that you will adjust your mirrors so press f4 and press 1 and adjust, adjust your all settings that you need I want a little higher more forward and this will ok and then I want mirrors as you can see I have nothing important in this mirror so I need to move this as far as I can see side of my truck same with this mirror and same will go with those mirrors on the other side I need to see my trailer in both of these mirrors to know where am I I don't adjust these top mirrors because they look quite well so now I can have here also I can open window and you can hear that audio changes and that's everything that is here get ready to turn right turn right and here you can stop turn off your engine and press enter to get your fuel going whoops parking brake if you are on quick job then fuel and ferries and other road uh, uh, paid options like getting into autobahn out, uh, highway are paid by your uh, company owner that you are driving for as quick job and all fines are like uh, speeding going right wrong direction are paid by yourself so it's still best to go according to the rules and as you can see in this particular truck and in many high-end truck interiors you have GPS in truck so you don't have to have your road advisor turned on because you have your GPS here Keep left. is that game not beautiful with that modification installed I will not go whole way there is a road event someone is stopped okay I think this is everything that it should be in this tutorial I will stop here and I will show you that traffic if I'm stopped 
with blinkers they will slow down and uh, watch for me I can go discreetly on the lane Please go. Okay. The traffic will now try to avoid me. Some cars will stop, some other will try to overtake. Hello, policy. Also, watch uh, when you are violating. Uh, road rules in vicinity of police car because it cost double it, you can be fined by automatic system of the game and in addition you can be violated again by that police car okay so this is everything for this tutorial and the next one will be about installing promotes it's one of the best uh, add-ons which is free to download for euro truck simulator it's also have a version for canada but you need the, uh, all dlcs for uh, american truck simulator and uh, you need almost all DLCs, uh, map DLCs of course, uh, to Eurotrack Simulator to install promotes on Eurotrack Simulator, but that will be covered in the tutorial of promotes. That's all for this, if you have any questions leave them in comments and see you soon!